Hi guys, today's discussion is about forecasting, specifically about seasonal index. Seasonal variations in data, so the multiplicative seasonal model, can adjust trend data for seasonal variations in demand. We have the following steps in the process. First is to find the average historical demand for each season. Seasons can vary from daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or even annually. Second, compute the average demand over all seasons or the overall average of the computed historical demand. Third is to compute a seasonal index for each season using the following formula. Seasonal index is equal to the average historical demand and divide it by the overall average. Fourth is to estimate next year's total demand. And lastly, divide this estimate of total demand by the number of seasons, then multiply it by the seasonal index for that season. Now take note that this particular step can be varying depending on the type of problem or what is included or stated in our problem. So this will be discussed later on. Now let us proceed with our example. The following table shows the monthly demand from 2007 to 2009. So we want to determine the seasonal index and the forecast for 2010 is expected to be 1,200 units. We have the following information from 2007 to 2009 and the monthly values from January to December. So here are our values. So for our solution, so we have to compute for the monthly average from 2007 to 2009. So getting the average of each month. So we have 90 for January, 80 for February, March will be 85, April is 100, May is 123, June is 115, July is 105, August is 100, September is 90, 80 for October, 80 for November, and again 80 for December. So once we have computed the historical average of our seasons, so the next step is to get the overall average of our data. So that is 94. So next step, once we are done with the second step, so we are to compute for the seasonal index. Again, seasonal index is computed using the formula of your historical average divided by the overall average. So in this case, we have 90 divided by 94, which gives us 0.957. Now, usually we use three decimal places when we are writing our seasonal index. So same step for February. So we will be dividing 80 and 94. So this will be 0.851. March will be 0 0.904. April is 1.064. And continuing until December. So this will give us the following answers. Okay, so once we're done with our seasonal index, we can now proceed with the solution of forecast for, uh, for any given condition. Now, solving for the forecast for 2010, given that the expected annual demand is 1,200. Now, uh, as stated in our fifth step, so it just states that kung ano yung season ng ating data, so dapat kapag tayo ay nagko-forecast, it should be of the same season as well. Now, if our expected demand is given in a time basis na iba doon sa season, which in this case, in annual form, so we have to convert the annual demand into monthly demand before we can actually forecast for each month. Okay? Again, ang note is that your expected demand should share the same uh, season or yung format of time ni expected demand should be the same with the seasons given in the problem.
Now, in this case, the season uh, given in the problem is in months and the expected demand should be in months as well. Now, the expected monthly demand is your 1,200 divided by 12, signifying 12 months in one year. So, this will give us 100 units. So, our expected monthly demand is 100 units. So now we can proceed with computing for the forecast for each month. Now we have the following sample computation. So if you want to forecast the, the value for January, so we are just going to multiply your expected monthly demand by your seasonal index, which in this case is 100 times 0.95. 7, which will give us an answer of 95.7 units. So usually we round this off. So this will become 96 units for January. Then for February, again, so that will be 100 times the season, seasonal index for February, which is 0.851. So which will give us an answer of 85.1 or equivalent to 85 units so continuing with our answers so which uh, we will have forecast for any given month now continuing so we can compute for the march forecast and for the april forecast and so on okay now let's have a follow-up question now what if we want to, to determine the forecast for june if the expected demand for 2010 is 360 per quarter. Now, take note from our previous example, uh, we were given 1,200 units expected demand annually. So every year, 1,200. Now, in this case, we were given expected quarterly demand of 360 units. So what, we will, uh, what are we going to do? Again, since in quarters yung binigay na expected demand so this should be converted first into monthly demand kasi or since our given seasons is in months so therefore our solution the quarterly demand is given as 360 units so the monthly demand is therefore 360 divided by 3 so why 3 kasi there are 3 months in one quarter so laging tandaan in one quarter there are three months and in one year there are four quarters all right so minsan dami kasi nakoconfuse doon sa values na yon. again three months in a quarter four quarters in a year so using the conversion so this will give us 120 units per month so if we will be going back to our um data kanina for our seasonal index so for us to compute for the forecast for june again here is the seasonal index so for june we have 1.223 so solving for uh, the month of june so we have 120 times 1.223 which gives us 146.76 or roughly equivalent to 147 units. So that is how we forecast using seasonal index. And this ends our discussion for forecasting specifically in seasonal index. Again, thank you for watching. And if you have more questions, please feel free to comment down below this video.